Hi, my name is Aya. I'm Marissa. And this is Tiger, Tiger News. News. Today we have a few exciting topics. For example, going on to weather with Caroline. And here's the weather and some exciting events for this week. First up with the weather, it's still cold this week and it'll be cloudy and rainy. There will be a high of 56 this week and a low of 27. And there's a 60% chance of rain on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And there's a 40% chance of rain on Saturday. The spring rain is here, so don't forget your raincoat. And the days are still getting longer. As this week goes on, the sun will start setting even later at around 7 p.m. And that means that the total daylight is increasing to just about 12 hours in 20 minutes. And last Wednesday was also the first full day of spring. Happy spring, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline, for the weather report. I can't believe it's going to be raining all week. I know, like it was just warm. Anyway, on to sports with Aya. Hey, what is up, Tiny Tigers? It's your girl Aya back again with another Tiger News video. Before I begin, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video. Now, let's move on. Continuing with the topic of March Madness, don't forget that it started last week, Thursday, March 21st, and will be ending Tuesday, April 9th. But if you if you want to, you can make a pretend bracket on the NCAA website. You know, just for funsies. There were a couple games last week, so now let's break it down. Personally, my favorite matchup was the Michigan State versus Mississippi State. Michigan beat Mississippi 69 to 51, and Michigan's top player, Tyson Walker, had 19 points. On Saturday, Michigan State will be playing a fan favorite, UNC or University of North Carolina. Anywho, that's all I got for you guys this week. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I signing off. Coaching. Oh, I just love March Madness. Thank you, Aya, for sports. Who you got winning March Madness? UConn, for, for sure. For the second year in a row? Definitely. I have to. But now, on to Alyssa with upcoming events. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Alyssa Machado, back again with School News. This week at the attending, we have a few important events, starting off with an NJHS meeting today from 2.30 to 3.30. This Tuesday, there will be an optional academic bowl meeting after school from 2.30 to 3.15. Speaking of the Academic Bowl, this Wednesday is the official meet from 8.30 to 11.30. It will be at the CGS. Good luck to all the teams competing, specifically the tennis teams. Hopefully we win this time. Also, this Wednesday is a lower school literacy night. This is when the lower school families are invited to the tennis literacy night from 4.30 to 6 o'clock. Also, this Wednesday there's a Scholastics Book Fair. It started today and it will end on Thursday, March 28th. It will be during one block, but your families are welcome to join in on the fun and shop after school on Wednesday the 27th, from 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. This Thursday, March 28th, there will be Curious Creatures for the third grade. Also, this Friday, there's no school! Anyways, that's all the upcoming news, honey students. I'll see you again next week with another banger! Obviously, Alyssa Machado signing off. Capiche! Thank you, Liz, for upcoming events. Wait, wait, are you going to the NJHS meeting today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same here. Uh, make sure you guys tune in on March Madness this week. It's gonna be a b-b-b-banger! That's a wrap.